he far reveals the son of Iroson Irete, called Noera, in Monton in Joruba, anoint the king of death, and in order to test whether he really had all the knowledge implied by his name, he gave him a goat to raise, ordering him to bring procreation that it will father each year. Oromila thought about buying a female goat to go live with the goat, but Eshu explained to him that this idea was not going to be accepted by the king of death, who had given him only the male goat, precisely to see how the Noadah could obtain offspring with it and added that he will give him the goat to eat, since he will know what to do with it when the time came. Four years later, the king of death sent a message to Oromila's son asking him to bring him the goat and his offspring. At that moment, Eshu asked Oromila to buy him another goat, which also ate, but left two of his legs in his head. He used the legs to make footprints on the ground and to stimulate the movement of a flock of goats. He also prepared ropes to tie up a good number of goats. Then he accompanied Odomila to the king of death. When they arrived there, Eshu explained that when they were coming with the goats, a group of armed bandits attacked him, stealing the goat and his offspring. To support his explanation, he showed the king of death the ropes used to tie up all the goats. The king of death then went to Eshu, telling him that he will have to pay for the goat eternally. Then Eshu gathered all the deities and told them that from that moment on, if they wanted peace and prosperity, they should offer him gold systematically and forever to repay their debts to the king of death. That is the gold that Eshu pays to this day.